Hey guys, Ertius here, Air for short. I'm going to summon the Water Samurai. I just got him from the Hall of Heroes, which is currently happening right now. And a lot of you are aiming to get this monster, so I thought I'd make a video on how to rune him. So, I'm going to summon him and talk about some runes. Here we go. Summon. Oh, there's no lightning. He is a four star. He deserves some lightning. Anyways. Here he is, Water Samurai. He is an attack type monster, and his skills are Wield. Attack, uh, quickly draws the sword to attack the enemy, decreasing the target's defense for two turns with a 50% chance. This skill has a 10% chance to activate the Sword of Supreme Skywolf. Something to know about all samurai is they were given this really cool skill. Sword of Supreme Skywolf. Attacks and deals great damage to all enemies with a secret skill the secret skill being Sword of Supreme Skywolf, <laughs> and ignores all shield and invincibility effects. So no matter what happens, if this is activated their next turn, they're going to use this, and it is definitely going to do damage to every single monster. Doesn't matter what kind of um, shields they have up, doesn't matter if they have the invincibility, so Chloe's are useless, this is going to do damage. Then we've got Air Slash shoots a sharp energy from the sword, which has a 50% additional chance of landing as a critical hit. This skill has a 20% chance to activate the Sword of Supreme Skywolf. So we've gone from 10% to a 20% activation rate. 50% chance of landing a critical hit is pretty good. And we've got Charging Slash quickly draws the sword to attack an enemy two times, with each attack having a 50% chance to decrease the target's attack bar by 50%. The damage increases according to your attack speed. This skill has a 50% chance to activate the Sword of Supreme Skywolf, which you can't really see. But uh, that's what it's going to say, if they would just be able to fit that in a little description box. So, um, he's, he's a sort of funny monster. He's got... He's got the defense debuff, which is awesome. I always love lowering defense. He's got the crit rate buff here. And he's got an ability which lowers the attack bar as well as does damage based on his speed. And then he has his secret ability, which is just going to do damage to everybody. So there's a couple ways you could ruin this monster. If you want him to just do a lot of damage, then do the Rage Blade combination. Um, max out his crit damage as much as you can. And so do the Rage runes with Blade. And go attack percentage on 2, crit damage on 4. I would do crit damage on 4 only because he gets the 50% crit rate bonus here, and then do attack percentage on 6. You could, if you have good crit rate substats, you could do rage focus runes. It's a difficult one to pull off, but um, you need good crit rate substats. You could do um, attack percentage on yeah, attack percentage on 2, crit damage again on 4, and then attack percentage on 6. Now you can also do speed on slot 2. Um, it's going to take away from his attack power with his first and second skill, but it's going to really help out on the third skill. Um, and then another way you can ruin this monster is very tactfully. Um, make him a tactician. So you can do swift and focus runes. And then, you know, do speed on slot 2. You can still do crit damage on 4. I'm thinking about doing that only because of the second skill I want to do a lot of damage. And then the speed will help this one do a lot of damage. And then do attack percentage on slot 6. And always look for accuracy substats if you want to go tact tactics with this guy. If you're doing the Rage Blade, look for crit rate substats as well as attack percentage. Um, 
If you're going to do the rage focus, then you're going to need crit rate substats as well as accuracy substats. This monster needs crit rate, crit damage, speed, and attack. Oh, and accuracy. He's quite difficult to rune exceptionally well. But if you want to pick a direction with him, tactics, you want to go speed and accuracy because this skill going first will lower the attack bar of enemies and that's very useful for basically stopping a monster from going in the sequence that maybe in an arena battle the person has set up. So if they needed their Lucian to go first or third, then this will probably make him go either fourth, third, or whatever. Like it'll 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 disrupt that whole system. Um, and it also and the speed also doubles as attack power. If you want to go damage, then you need crit rate and crit damage with this guy. And then the speed is also pretty good. So it's kind of up to you how you want to rune him, what you really need. If you have a really good attacking water monster and you need something who's a little bit more support type, somebody who's going to maybe make it more difficult for the opposing team with debuffs and such, then I suggest the swift focus. If you need a really strong attacker, then I would do the rage blade. Um... Otherwise, if you've got amazing runes sitting around, then I would recommend Rage runes with Speed on slot 2, Crit Damage on 4, and Attack Percentage on 6, if you have great Crit Rate substats and Accuracy substats on those runes. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and not confusing. <laughs> this monster does require quite a few things and you, he has quite a bit of versatility, so hopefully he works out for you guys once you get him. I know I'm going to really enjoy this guy, and till next time, peace.